hey guys thank you so much for returning to my channel this is your girl nature p so today's video i'm uh, going to be talking about narcissism um so narcissism is a person who has no empathy they are self-serving self-seeking um users they use people around them they also tend to be verbally abusive or physically abusive or both or they are emotionally abusive, meaning they attack people's, you know, whether it's your characteristics of your body, of your physical, or the, your uh, mental capabilities, or anything that you try to do, whether it's uh, cooking, or just anything that you do, right? Nothing you can do is going to be good enough to them, but that's evil, because a, a, a real, um, a good person will not want to tear you down, they would want to confirm that hey that's good you did a good job like or hey this is nice but you know if you did this this and this that probably would have you know turned out a little bit better and i'm just trying to help you in a positive way not trying to hurt your feelings they will if they will um verbalize that in that way right they will not try to they will let you know they're not trying to hurt you with their words they're just trying to build you up in a positive constructive way constructive criticism so um narcissists they also don't love their children they don't love themselves they do not love their partner whether it's a, a girlfriend or it's a husband um narcissism how it's created it is created through childhood Ch uh, narcissists are not born like a sociopath um narcissists were created at childhood uh narcissists they were created in childhood by being um overpraised and undervalued meaning like okay they only got good grades and a's and b's and that's the only time when either one or two parents were like oh yes that's awesome great job great job that's awesome congratulations i love you you're the best and then when they come to the parent like oh i'm feeling sad i'm feeling down or this person or that person said this or did this and they hurt me and I'm sad and I need, you know, they need to, they need to be loved. The parent or parents say, go away. I don't have time for that. <sighs> Stop crying, man up, woman up. And don't have time to be bothered with emotions. Um, and then also they would be, whether it was that or it was only they were abused by their parent or parents, whether it's verbal or physical or both. And sometimes, in some cases, they were both overpraised and undervalued emotionally and also abused physically or verbally or both physically and verbally. Um, they are always the golden child, the child in the family that the parent just loves so much. They get everything that they want. They get showered with things and presents and gifts and clothes and biggest birthdays and they tend to get the biggest rooms i mean for me i've always got the biggest rooms but i didn't get all the things that i needed as far as like other stuff outside of that so i used to think because i got the biggest room all the time that i was the golden kid when it really was not the case my eldest of the family sibling line was the going and i um was the scapegoat um but yeah the narcissists were always the golden child um they in turn of being undervalued and overpraised and then abused or neglected they were also um like i was saying like they were neglected as well in childhood whether they were pushed away into foster care or um just like never tended to uh, mentally and emotionally and just like and ignored other than when they got good grades or when they won a game um, they were just neglected a lot and given um, to just live through life as a young child by themselves and not have that parental love and guidance and confirmation that, you know, I love you, you're worthy, you're good enough, you don't have to do all of that, you don't have to always get degrees, I still love you, you're still good enough. They never got that. Um, so in turn, because of all this abuse and neglect and overpraise and underpraise, they turn to the narcissist, they let evil spirit come into their mind speak into their mind and ear and they let the evil in and let Jezebel come in which is narcissism um they also 
that narcissism is a defense mechanism for all the pain and the loneliness and hurt that their parents have inflicted on them and the neglect that they had went through at a, as a young child. So they use this narcissism to protect themselves by being cold, using and abusing people because they feel like they want people to feel and unimportant as they were made to feel unimportant, right? But in reality, it's only hurting them because it's going to keep them from ever experiencing real friendship and real people who love them, especially as a romantic situation. They'll never feel real love. And also they cannot feel true happiness because of the evil spirit that is within them that they allowed in of narcissism. And that evil spirit creates jealousy and hatred for people because they feel jealous. Um, the demon tells them, well, oh, well, these people got the love and affirmation and attention and, uh, you know, love as a child that you were denied. Now you need to hate them and be jealous of them. And now you will never be happy. I'm going to always tell you that you're worthless and that you're stupid and that you're ugly and that you're this and you're that. You know, because nobody was loving you. Nobody loved you. You weren't good enough to be loved by your parent. Your parent never cared about you. And really, um, it's just a really sad case because, again, they're trying to protect themselves. But really, they're hurting themselves for the rest of their life until they really face the hard, hard pain and the abuse and the hurt that they've felt as a child all the different times that they were either abused or neglected or both and and face the the things that they went through and the hurt they have to fight through that and get to find um healing they got to find true healing um a few people two people i know on the internet are doing that and i just hope that all narcissists that are uh, willing and listening will um start to be brave and strong like Yes, they are evil. Yes, they do a lot of bad, very bad things to people, hurting a lot of people, using a lot of people, stealing and, and uh, slandering a lot of people. But with the love of God, I was still allowed to see them one day, preferably sooner than later, for their own sakes and um, for the, uh, everybody else's sakes, that they will uh, start working on their pain and, and heal, heal their wounds. Um with that being said, the devil was cunning and deceptive, and the more and more that they fed into that spirit, the more and more that spirit had control over their minds. Um, the devil comes to destroy and destroying their, their own selves. The narcissist is destroying themselves every day of their life, and karma will get you, will get them sooner or later. Like with my people that I've known in my personal life, if they don't get it right away, it comes at the end of their life, and that means that they die a very painful, very painful death. And it's not like, you. I'm not wishing bad on nobody. I would never wish bad on not even an enemy because that's not my heart. But I'm saying is the truth is what happens. That's how the world works. That's how God works. Um, everything you do has a reaction, whether it's good and whether it's bad. Um, so, yeah, that's narcissism basically in a, in a uh, nutshell. And, oh, yeah, and they also have smear campaigns about the the lovers that they used to be with you know they go around slandering people's name talking really bad about them which a lot of times are untruth not true lies um not true things about the people that they used to be with telling people that they were this they were that they were so this they were so that they did this and they did that to them when they really didn't um and then they they um round people up called flying monkeys to go and you know, either stalk or go and ask the uh, ex-lover questions about, you know, what happened between you and them or what you up to or just to see what you're doing without speaking to you. Just flying monkeys is what it's called. You know, just people that they know, their friends that aren't really their friends because they hate them too because they're just jealous of everybody. Um, But yeah, that's narcissism in a nutshell. Um, For me, I think that it's really... Cause like I said, I'm just a really love, big hearted person. I think it's terribly sad that people have been hurt to that point. They let the darkness in and they feel so angry and jealous and, and envious. And it's just sad that they're never gonna, they can't experience in their current state as a narcissist. They will never experience true happiness and true joy. But when they get healed, they will learn after they fight consistently, they will learn to understand and how to grasp 
true happiness instead of being tormented by that spirit telling them bad things about themselves all the time all right y'all thank you for returning to my channel oh yeah and they always say too that a lot of times how you know when person's a narcissist they don't sleep that much either so yeah they're up all night but um god bless you thank you for returning to my channel that's narcissism in a nutshell oh yeah no i'm sorry and i forgot one last thing their uh supply or as my boy said um on the internet he said it's uh, a lot of people call it supply the people that they date they use they take their their uh was it like their love their sex their money their food that they can make for them or shelter give them a place to go use your car um that's their supply and they don't care about that person they just like i said using them for everything that they can get out of them and that's why they cheat they cheat because they constantly need to be validated on how they're such a good person how they're so um you know desirable and one person will never be enough for them because that evil spirit is darkness and empty so that makes them empty so they will never be filled with the not 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 how many doesn't matter how many people they'll never be filled so please forgive me y'all my anxiety keeps being like really high i guess i'm just nervous but um yeah that's narcissism and yeah that's all thank you so much for returning to my channel god bless you god keep you i love you jesus loves you shalom and bye